Let's do a problem. In this problem, we have a pendulum. Length of the pendulum is 29 centimeters. Distance between the extreme positions of the pendulum is 42 centimeters. We have to find out here if the pendulum starts from rest, that means from position A, how much maximum kinetic energy can the bob of the pendulum gain? As the pendulum reaches from position A to position C, it loses height H and loss in potential energy is MGH. This value here will be the gain in kinetic energy. We are provided value of M and G. We just have to find the value of H. Let's discuss the approach for finding CD. If we can find OD and we know OC is the radius that is 29 centimeters. So from 29 centimeters, if we subtract OD, we will get DC. Now for finding OD, we know perpendicular from the center bisects the chord and AB here is like chord of a circle and O can be supposed to be the center of the circle then OD is the perpendicular from the center so if AB is 42 centimeters AD will be half of 42 centimeters that is 21 centimeters now if we apply Pythagoras theorem in right angle triangle ODA very easily we can find the length of OD so in right angle triangle ODA we have OA square is equal to OD square plus DA square so putting the values as in place of OA we can write 29 and in place of DA we can write 21 Doing simple calculations, we can find OD to be 20 centimeters. So OD here is 20 centimeters. Now as discussed, we have to find DC and DC will be OC minus OD. So DC will be 29 centimeters minus 20 centimeters is equal to 9 centimeters. As discussed, maximum gain in kinetic energy will be mg into dc. Now m is given to be 50 grams in the question. So this will be 50 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 3, converting this into kg, the SI units. g is 9.8 meters per second square multiplied by dc dc is 9 centimeters converting this into meters this will become 9 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 and the units will be joules so when this is simplified this will come as 441 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 joules so this is the maximum gain in kinetic energy which we had to find in the question So in this problem, we learned how to apply properties of chord to solve a real-life application problem.